So I don't know if y'all know who Susan Rice, the former ambassador Susan Rice, came out and she said something about Trump is a national security risk. She said Trump clearly doesn't put American interests ahead of his own. So we're deeply vulnerable to the exploitation by our adversaries. It's unfortunate that a lot of these individuals who see all of the BS that's going on, they won't call a thing a thing. They won't call a spade a spade. It's like they're complicit. Like they know that they're effing up the country and they're sending us all to ruins, but they don't give a Well, we got a rebuttal right here. This young lady got something to say. Y'all listen to this right here. Y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know, man. You take it away. Boy, it's been quite a news day. Outside of Tucker and Don Lemon and, you know, the fact that the media is crumbling, the most important news, however, is Susan Rice leaving the White House. It kind of seemed like people were distracted after that news came out this morning. But I got to tell you, we're not going to forget how corrupt she is and the fact that every word that comes out of her mouth is basically a lie. There's so much to cover, so let's start here. Susan Rice was being considered for vice president under Joe Biden, but the reason she could not be vice president was because she had questionable investments. Remember when Joe was like confused about fossil fuels? Like first he was like, I'm not touching it. And then he's like, I'm going to abolish fossil fuels. Well, <laughs> Miss Rice had $2 million in shares in three fossil fuel companies. $1 million worth of Johnson & Johnson, $823,000 in Apple, and $289,000 in Comcast shares. She also owns $14 million in shares for Canadian Pacific Railway. She also sat on the board of Netflix. I mean, what better way to influence young minds? I mean, you may, may as well be Disney. And uh, she got $2 million in shares for that. One of those investments that she had with her husband, who we will discuss shortly, was $2.7 million, yes, you heard me right, $2.7 million on a somehow $180,000 salary, was Enbridge. You know who Enbridge is? Keystone Pipeline. So because she was so invested in the Keystone Pipeline, she couldn't be vice president, but Biden still tapped her on the shoulder to be his domestic policy aide. But guess what? Right before Joey B canceled the Keystone Pipeline, she divested in those $2.7 million in, you know, Enbridge with her husband. Who is her husband, you say? Well, he's only the executive producer of ABC News. No conflict of interest there. Remember that whole Benghazi thing, you know, where four Americans died? Well, Susan Rice was the first person to speak to the press, and you know who she blamed? Americans. She said that an American posted a YouTube video which angered the terrorists and led them to kill those four Americans. No accountability. We have been teaching people how to grow online. It's been absolutely amazing. We have three people who have been able to reach monetization in less than 30 days. Growing YouTube channels, some from zero people. We have one guy who had two subscribers before he started working with me. He started helping him. His views went up 4.8 million percent. We're super excited. If anybody ever want to grow on YouTube, you reach out to me with the word coach. She understands that her play, her position, is to ruin and destroy the country. We got some inside people whose job is simply to help fatten the pockets of the people that they work with and ruin this country so that they can get fat behind closed doors while we deal with all of this turmoil. It's like we're in Gotham City, man. But I digress. Let's go ahead and finish. That's what she said. If only Americans didn't make irresponsible YouTube videos, terrorism wouldn't happen. See how that works? Then there's Obamagate. If you don't know, basically the Obama administration spied on the Trump team during his campaign, which is highly illegal, and no one did anything about it. But Susan claims she knew nothing about it. And yeah, she lied because not only did she know all about it, but she also led the efforts in spying against the Trump team. Not to mention that we don't know much about what she did before she worked for the Clinton, Obama, and Biden administrations, except she did work for this company called McKinsey and Company. She was a consultant. So was Buttigieg. And when that came out, 
it was uh, an issue because there are a lot of scandals with this company, namely when it comes to foreign relations and muddying the waters there. That's a whole nother video. Somewhere between those administrations, she worked as a consultant for IntelliBridge, which one of her clients was listed as a high-powered dictator since the 90s, which would lead you to think that she's sowing influence. Seems to be a Biden administration standard. And of course, she worked for Brookings Institution. What corrupt person doesn't work there? I mean, I gotta say, she's good at what she does. When she worked for the Obama administration, she was the richest person there. And she was the richest person under the Biden administration. So, I mean, if you're gonna be corrupt, I guess do it right. You know what's weird too is that as time goes on, you start to realize how much you've been lied to. And one of the things I question is Gaddafi because, uh, you know, our government wanted us to believe he was really, really bad. But then, you know, you ask people that would know and they contradict that story. But you know who led the efforts in making us believe that he was a really, really bad person? Susan Rice. Weird because it almost seems like she just started a rumor that led to a man dying because she said that he was terrorizing the population with sexual violence and giving Viagra to the troops and investigations were done and it turns out she lied. There's so much more to cover, but it's getting late. But I encourage you guys to follow the money because there's so much to be found. And Susan, if this was a panic move, it's too late. No deals. It seems like these people go to office to make their $170,000 a year or whatever their salary is, and they always end up leaving as multimillionaires. Always end up leaving as multimillionaires. Ain't that what Nancy Pelosi did? They always got the inside scoop on the next thing to invest in. But so you can see what I was talking about for yourself because I want you to see firsthand from Susan Rice, the criminal, acting as if Trump is the criminal because that's the play, that's the script. She just needs to read the script, go back home, live uh, and sleep comfortably in her bed. I don't trust these politicians, bro. I don't. And when Trump said something about draining the swamp, that's when he got all of his enemies because he didn't care about getting rid of dirty Republicans or dirty Democrats. But here we go. Real problem and, and pattern here uh, is that uh, we have somebody who clearly doesn't put the interests of the United States ahead of his own personal interests. That's the fundamental problem. And when that is the case, uh, the United States is deeply vulnerable uh, to manipulation and exploitation by our adversaries with whom he seems to be most comfortable. Uh, so this is really uh, something that, that people need to uh, be mindful of. Um, he is telling us exactly uh, what he intends to do. Uh, and what he intends to do is absolutely antithetical to the national security interests of the United States and, and fundamentally dangerous. Yeah, he told us what he intends to do, which is clean up this daggone country. And y'all don't want that because then you're going to lose a whole lot of money. Y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for, man? Much love to you all. Shout out to everybody who have been with me for a very long time. Y'all are absolutely amazing. See you on the next video. Love you.